Hi guys, welcome to another video and I'm sure that if you are creating print on demand content, so it doesn't matter whether you're creating like normal designs for Redbubble, Amazon Merge, or you are creating books for KDP, probably one of the most important things you gotta take care of is that your designs, whether it is a coloring page, whether it is a design for a t-shirt, they need to be in really good quality for printing. So what it means, either you need to have a very good resolution of the image, so let's say like at least 5,000 pixels wide image so people can actually enjoy a good quality after the product is printed or you need to use some vectorizer in order to have your images converted into a vector instead of the image consisted of pixels. So if you are familiar generally with vectorizing images, I'm sure you have heard about this website which is called Vectorizer AI and back in the day this was one of the best websites to vectorize the image. It did like insane job for all the images and unfortunately it was only free in the beta status and right now we are dealing with the full version of the vectorizer AI now and if you just go to the pricing you can see that for the web app version you need to pay $10 per month so in order to vectorize your images you gotta pay a monthly subscription and we don't want that of course if we don't know if the product is going to sell we want to spend as little money as possible and today I'm going to show you a very cool alternative for this where you can just simply upload a design and you can vectorize up to 50 images per day completely for free. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. Hi everyone, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to let you know that I've started offering print-on-demand niches with low competition. All of them are researched by me, so here is more or less how it works. You can subscribe for $8 per month through the link in the description. With this subscription, you'll have access to all of the niche files and inside of such niche file you can find the niche name related tags keywords actual number of competition and the link to explore the niche so you can see what kind of designs you should create to make sales for people wondering whether this will be evergreen or seasonal niches the answer is both I will upload both seasonal and evergreen niches there. New niches are added frequently throughout the month, so over time you'll have access to hundreds of unique niche ideas for just $8 a month. My goal is to offer something valuable at a good price to help you succeed. All right guys, so we are on the website called Recraft AI. I'm gonna leave the link to this website down in the description so you don't need to find it on the internet. You can just click the link in the description. Also check all the other things in my descriptions. You can find some cool things there. All right, what we can do here, like first of all, we gotta upload the image to be able to edit it, vectorize it or upscale it or do anything you like. This is the website where you actually don't need any sort of credit card. It's not required here, but the thing is that you'll need to register on the website. So you can do it, for example, using Google account. Okay, and after you are logged in, you have this little option here on the right where you can just upload an image. Click on this and upload any designs you like. So for the purposes of this video, I've uploaded this a simple design created in Canva in like a couple of seconds. And the most important thing that I take care of today is to how we can actually vectorize this image. If we'll zoom in, you can see that this image consists of pixels because when I I zoom in you can see that it is not exactly very sharp it's kind of blurry and pixelated and what we can do to get rid of these pixels you can just go to this upper panel you have here you have this couple of options for example you can modify the image uh, for example remove the background which is also very useful this image is currently in the PNG without any background but if you have the image with background you can easily remove it here and also what we can do here is to vectorize the image so here we've got this little option called vectorize just click Click on it and now your image is going to be vectorized so after a couple of seconds we see that our image is now vectorized how we can actually verify this i'm just gonna zoom in you can zoom in using scroll and control together so i'm just gonna zoom in and look at that we've got the perfectly sharp image, no matter how much we are zoomed into this design, okay? Um, another thing you can do here is to change the course of the image. So here you've got some color palettes, or you can use this little slider here to change the number of colors in the image. So as you can see, if I'm gonna um, slide it to the left, we see uh, less and less colors. For example, here we've got only two colors on this design. You can also use some color palettes. I'm gonna turn it into this um, beautiful blue color or maybe you want something yellow. You can find it here. If you don't like any sort of color palette you have chosen, you can simply click on reset 
and here we are with our original image back again. Another thing you can do is also you can change the aspect ratio of your image. So here you've got this one by one aspect ratio. When I'm gonna slide it to the right, it's gonna become more vertical. If I'm gonna slide to the left, it will become more horizontal. And also if you want to use some already prepared templates for um, this aspect ratios, you can click on variate option here and you've got like this common popular aspect ratio. This is not that important for us. Another feature you can do here is, for example, if you forgot to add some text, you can additionally add it here just by clicking here on this text icon in this left upper panel and you can just click it here. Now you have possibility to add a text on a design. So if I'm just gonna click on here and type, uh, I don't know, hello. You have these different fonts here. You can change the color, you can change the font type the size of the font so all the options are also available here and obviously the text you are going to add is also going to be vectorized so as you can see it's not pixelated at all it has these sharp lines as a vector should have i'm not going to get into details uh, when it comes to mockups but you also have the possibility to add some mockups using your image so you can just click here and create some new mockups. But this video is not about mockups, and usually on many print on demand websites, we are not even using mockups. You will need them if you are going to have your own shop on Shopify or something like that. For most common websites like Amazon Merch and Redbubble, you don't need any mockups. So the only disadvantage of this tool is uh, I just move our recording area to the right, and here you can actually see the number of credits you have. So right now I have 43 credits left. And when you are locked in with a brand new account, you have the 50 credits for a start and vectorizing one image takes one credit. So what you can do is you can vectorize up to 50 images per day completely for free. If you want to vectorize more, you need to pay a subscription. After we are done with everything, what you need to do is you can go on this export button here and you have a couple options to export this image. So if the image is vectorized, you have a couple of things. You can export the image in higher resolution. So let's say 5000 by 5000 pixels. I'm just gonna export it right now. So let's click on PNG, for example, because we don't need a any sort of background. So let's click on PNG. The image is downloading, as you can see here. Fortunately, downloading doesn't take any of your credits, so that's good. And right now, I'm also gonna export one more version in SVG format. So if you don't know, the SVG is uh, the most common format for the vector graphics. So I'm just gonna click on export and click on SVG. When you're clicking on SVG, it doesn't really matter what sort of resolution you have because this is going to be vector. Vector does not have a something like resolution, okay? So let me just click on SVG file. So this is the final comparison of these two images. One has been downloaded in 5000 by 5000 pixels. So as you can see here, when we will zoom into this image, you can see that it still maintain a really good quality because it is in high resolution. However, if I'm gonna zoom in really, really close, you can finally see these pixels are coming out of our image. That's why we know it is a PNG format. However, it has a very high resolution. If your print on demand website won't allow you to use SVG format, you can use something like that. So you can upload PNG files in high resolution. On the other hand, here we've got our vector image. Uh, I'm just gonna zoom in really, really close. And as you can see here, no matter how much I'm gonna be zoomed in, the quality is maintained perfectly. So these are the main differences between um, pixel graphics and vector graphics. If you are watching this video sometime after uploading it, I cannot guarantee that the tool is still going to be in a free version available. So uh, don't blame me, please. Right now it is free, so use it as much as you want. Uh, but in the future, they may also switch to only a subscription paid mode. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you still have any questions regarding vectorizing your designs, you can ask me in the comments. If you have some good alternative to this tool, you can also share it to others in the comments because maybe in the future, as I mentioned, this tool is gonna be only available in the paid option. People will need to switch to something different so you can also share the alternatives. And yeah, that is it I've prepared for today's video. And yeah, that's it. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.